Hey Jewelry Making Pals, I got more to tell you about Gilder's Pace. I'm probably going to have more to tell you about Gilder's Pace for weeks on end, and you're not going to get sick of it because I think this is probably one of the most versatile products I have found in a long, long time. And I'm so thrilled about it because I just see endless possibilities, and so many of you have already popped and bought some. Uh, you're already telling me what fun you're having with it. So we're going to answer some questions this week and show you a new technique of how you actually paint with the stuff, how to mix it up to make it the consistency of paint, and then I'm going to let you run with it, and you do your thing, post your pictures on my Facebook page, let me know about it, and we're just going to go to the next level week after week, because Gilder's Paste is the bomb. Okay, so last week we were kind of having a little bit of trouble with getting the Gilder's Paste onto the filigree. It was working fine, especially with some of the colors that were more color dense. Um, but, you know, it was a little rough. Well, um, the, the Gilder's Paste people contacted me right away and filled me in. They so graciously gave me tons of tips to pass on to you. And I wish I had absorbed them all, but I'm sure I'll be talking to them a lot. But they said you really need to brush it on. And so what I have done is I've actually made a paint of it. I have some little plastic uh, wells here that I have, some old packaging that I recycled. And I turned it into paint with paint thinner. Just go get yourself a $4 thing of paint thinner and try not to whiff it and keep it off your skin because it's it's nasty subject, but substance. But what can I say? we got to use it. But anyway, just to show you, Hillary asked me, can you paint or can you Gilder's Paste chain? Um, here's the answer. This morning, I Gilder's, Gilder's Pasted this chain. I don't know how well you can see it against this dark background. We're usually against light. This is the chain before. This is the chain after. So it's just lightly antique. Actually, this chain looks as though it had been dunked in liver of sulfur. Okay, I used African bronze and a little bit of copper in tandem, but I rubbed it on, let it sit for a couple hours, and then buffed it out, and then I Renaissance waxed it. So it's good to go. This is sealed. It's done. But it's probably not as dark or as much chain, change as you would care for. It, it's not to my eye. So I figured, okay, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? Well, let's try the paint thing. So I made my Gilder's Paste into paint. And as you can see, I have been painting my chain with Gilder's Paste. And this is the patina color, which I'm just loving because I love this color, period. Period, the end, I love this color. I'm just painting it. So then I'll put this aside for a couple hours and come back. Now, I will tell you, if you do Renaissance Wax over this, you've got to go easy and light because it will tend to... Um, take some of it off if you go hard. But you need to seal it somehow, so very, very light matte spray varnish maybe. Or just let it seal off by itself. Probably will gas off and be okay on itself. Um, or then the Renaissance very, very carefully. Maybe brush it on and let it sit and then wipe it out. But anyway, that's that. And I'm going to do a little piece here. But I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over this piece I did this morning that I'm not crazy about with some of this. And let's just kind of see what happens. Ooh, now I'm liking it. Just a little bit of patina on it. Is that cool? Is that not cool? Yeah, I'm liking that. I hope that it sits up good. I think it will. Um, here is a sunflower that... See how nice this goes on here? I mean, you can rub it on. It worked real good last week with the pinotage over this. I think I showed you that. But it's just better brushed on. I think, you know, you're going to be able to accent pieces and stuff better. Now, I would like to keep a little bit of the integrity of the brass shining through on that, so I'm just going to brush it out, brush it out, brush it out, brush it out, brush it out. And because the paint thinner in it, I don't know if I want to get my fingers on there, rub it, although I've been just kind of, I don't know, I'm going to go for it. See that? Just kind of flick it up. And then you've got this beautiful old patina look. That is so pretty. And then after you let that dry, you've got to let this dry. And then you could go over it with another color. And you can blend and mix these colors too. You don't have to stay with that. 
Um, this is one that I did. This is a filigree that I did by rubbing it on. I'm not crazy about it because it's kind of gunked up. You really need the brush. So I'm going to go over this. This is the African bronze. I'm just going to use the same thing. If we get a little patina in here, oh well, maybe it'll be artsy. But I've made this, you see, it's, I've taken the paste and I've put paint thinner in it. I've made it into paint. Okay, so now I'm going to go over this. Oh yeah, this is much, much better. You're going to like this a whole lot more. just don't want to be whiffing on that paint thing. I don't like that. It's got nasty warnings on it. You know, I'm sensitive to those issues. You know, I don't like products that are toxic. But sometimes, just got to use them anyway and then wash your hands up really good. Don't eat while you're using them and take some detox vitamins. Anyway, hey, this is going to be a really cool look. That's with this, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to make the paint because I've got some copper in here that I have not made into paint yet. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And then you guys are going to improve on it, okay? Because I'm the idea girl. I always say that every week. I'm the idea girl. ID girl, I find these cool products that get you started. You're off on the journey, and then all I say is be sweet and share your ideas with me. And if you see something I did wrong or I could do better, you can tell me to see it with a nice smile in your internet voice or on the phone if you call me. And um, we will work it all out. Okay, now I've still got patina in here, so we're going to have a blend. But you know, this is just for to show you. What did I use earlier? What did I use with this? Oh, I know. This nice little spatula. Okay, just get it in there. I probably got a little bit too much paint there. You have to eyeball it, guys. I don't know what the ratio is. Once you guys find that out, you tell me. And we'll edify the world. And, and uh, Mr. Gilder's Paste, if you want to let me know what the ratio is, if you know it, why we would just be in your debt. I will share everything you tell me. Yeah, he's watching. See, I send him the links and he watches them. So he sees what we're doing. But he's got a great product. He deserves to know what we're doing. And I'm happy to share and get his approval. And one day, if he tells me I did an A-plus video, I'm going to be so happy. I might have to go out and eat. I might have to go out and eat anyway. Go to Panera Bread and feed the birds. But anyway, see, I've got paint. Is that not paint? Yeah, I've got paint. So let me take this feet piece here and I'm going to paint it now. Nice. And you know what? Get these old uh, kids brushes. You know that you get them in the craft store for like a buck for five or something because unless you want to use really good brushes then fine. Knock yourself out and you can clean them up too. You know because you can't be throwing them out. I like something disposable. You know unless I need to get some really fine detail then I'll whip out my really good artist ones and I'll clean them up. But I would suggest why do that? And you can throw it out. See how nice this is applying? This is going to dry beautifully. And then I could, this is the copper now. I wanted to repeat that. So then I'll be able to go back and, and uh, accent this color maybe with some patina. Once it dries, no, maybe 20 minutes or so. Probably with the paint thinner in, I would say it would dry in 20 minutes or so. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Hey, let's do one with the patina and mix it up. What the hey? It's my it's my Gilder's paste if I wreck it, right? I'm not gonna wreck it. There's never anything wrecked. There's always something salvageable from a project or something learned. Always, always, never forget that. It's your lesson for the day. Never a bad show. Never a bad sale. Never a bad project. You always learn something. And the road of life and crafting. I'm just going to wipe some of this back a little bit before it dries. Is that going to be beautiful? I think so. Now here are some beads that I did. These were brass ox beads. And I swabbed them and then I renaissance waxed them. So they've just got a little patina on them. And that's going to look so cool with a project with some stuff maybe that I've patinaed with liver sulfur or in the oven or whatever and then add a little gilter's paste to it. It's going to be so, so marble. marvelous. And I want to, oh, I want to clear something else up too. You know guys, last week I told you that um, I hated the can, you know. I was assuming this was the new can and this was the old one. Wrong. 
you know, normally packaging is a big problem for, for companies. I know myself how I've, in the past, when I had to package things, I really suffered because you have to find something you can afford. And this company went for a better packaging. This packaging stinks so bad. Um, they've offered me some tips to get this tape off. The tape's got to be on there. It's just nature of the beast. Got to deal with it. I'm always worried about hurting myself with the, the thing, getting it off. Some come off easier than others. But you have to get it off the seal. It's just a pain. Well, they knew that. They headed it too. So they searched and they searched and they searched until they found this packaging, which is just the best because it's just like a shoe polish. You just press here where it says press here. It opens and that's it. So this is a new one. Now, you're going to say, Brenda Sue, why am I getting all my stuff in the old packaging? Well, they, they've got to use what they have in the packaging that exists. But as they make new product, we're going to have it all in this. So some of them are coming in this, and some of them are coming in this. You just have to bear with it for the time being. But eventually, down the road of Gilder's Paste, it will all be in this packaging. So just a couple more little things real quick. Let's paint them up. Let's paint these hearts and see what happens. Let's mix the copper. Look at that. Now I think I'd hold it up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I might, when it's dry, go over it with some dry Gilder's paste and maybe a gold or a silver. And then just make that pop. So anyway, that's basically it. Can't really see it for this furry thing, I know. But uh, those were my thoughts this week. Oh, and you wanted to know if you could do silver from brass. Okay, here's raw brass, original. Yes, you can. This is silver, front and back. So you can take your brass and turn it to silver if you need to do that. This is, works good. Use the brush. And if you can make it into a paint, it works even better. So try it. Let me know how it goes. I'm here. Um, email me. Let me know what you think. And we will look forward to the next installment of Gilder's Paste as soon as possible.